the man of a weird voice returns! You don't give up, do you? I'll make you a tune for throating or should the Pokemon plan. Well, let's go, Ian. I bet you probably still... Yep, there it is. It's a Rhydon. Okay, so he still focuses. You see, Ian really doesn't have a set. Gyarados! Okay, well, <laughs> that kind of surprised me. I Lucky thing I have Pearl in there. Alright, so I guess Thunder and an Earthquake would do. Yeah, that would do fine. This Earthquake doesn't do anything to Mischievous, which is why I wanted to pair these two up, because it would it's just perfect. So hopefully... I, well, I know Rhydon has good defenses, but Tyranitar's attack is gone. Oh, protect! Oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll only get to attack uh, Mr. Gyarados. Well, yeah, I didn't do it. Because I, I figured he has strong defenses, so I wanted to attack them both, so... Oh, well, this is good. At least Thunder is going to... Oh, crap. <laughs> well, whatever. I keep forgetting, like, as soon as I use it, I keep forgetting what he did. Protect? Oh, no. Oh, well, my bad. I'm just gonna use Thunder. Oh, bro, no, no, oh, no, I forgot about that. Oh, no, that's not good. That is, oh, that's really not good. Oh, oh, Tyranitar. Woo, he took a Hydro Pump. Well, I mean, Gyarados doesn't have the most special attack in the world, but that's all it did? That, oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, there goes Tyranitar. Oh, my God, my fault. Jeez, he didn't even last one turn. No, I'm sorry. I used you terribly. Oh, I forgot about Lightning Rod. That was smart. You see, that's what Ian is. He doesn't have a set Pokemon he uses. I mean, well, he has used Rhydon several times. But he just he's, he uses smart strategies. He'll make you... He'll uh, give you Toxic. He'll probably just whittle down your health level by little. He'll do smart th stuff like that, like take away the Thunder ability. So, I mean, that's... Pretty good. Oh, so Pearl is faster. That's okay. I thought it would be fast enough, but that's that's all right. Uh, brick Break and Psychic or Confuser. Yeah, that would. Oh, stop using that! So annoying. Okay, I'll just confuse Gyarados and let it get out of the way. Cause now I don't have really. I mean, I gotta get rid of Rhydon before I can even use Thunder. So let's just use a Brick Break that goes nowhere. Stupid Rhydon. Hit yourself! Smack! Smack! No! Oh! Do it on Pearl! Do it on Pearl! She can take it! Yes! Okay, that was good. Considering along with the rain, that's pretty good. I mean, as I said, Gyarados doesn't have a lot of special attack, but still. He took a Hydro Pump, and only took about half health. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's a Hydro Pump, for God's sakes. I'm pretty sure Sap has enough power, especially with same type attack bonus. It should be fine. There we go. Alright. Even the playing field a little bit. And here we go, brick, brick in your face! No, oh my God, he survived with a sliver of health again. Why? Okay, at least that happened. But still, why? Oh no, no, don't use it on Mischievous. Use it on. Ah, oh, no, Pearl. I don't want to see your <laughs> such a tragic death when it dies. You just see nothing but pearls. I hate that. No. I'm sorry, oh my god, what am I going to do against Gyarados? Okay, I guess I should get rid of the rain. I could probably help things out, because I definitely don't want to send out Metagross. He won't be able to stand up to Hydro Pump all that well. Perry, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll just get rid of the rain. Make it a sunny day. Alright, once again, I'm going to lean lean on Petalee and Perry to help clean the, clean us out of this mess. But, at least I still have Heracross to do some damage. Right on, hopefully right on doesn't do uh, protecting any, because that's going to be annoying. But, uh, yeah, I'll just use that. And then, sunny day. XP! Okay! Go ahead! Waste your turn! Alright, fantastic. I thought he was gonna do protect again. Thank goodness he didn't. I was hoping to get rid of Rhydon, and then Pearl can use Thunder, but no, you just had to use Rock Blast. Damn it. Oh, well. That's okay. This fight should go a little bit more easier now, now that I've finally taken down his first Pokemon. Jeez. That, that was terrible. <laughs> What does he have next? A Manetric! Okay! Earthquake coming right up! I'll probably just use a Solar Beam. Because, I mean, with it confused, it shouldn't be able to attack much. And do it. Like, I don't know, it might survive and... Oh, you, you, damn it! Okay, well, I hit Meganium a little bit. And be confused, yes! Okay, it's dead. Once it hit itself once, that's all I needed. Solar Beam! 
Aha, my strategy works, Ian. <laughs> Confusion is always the way to go. All right. So there goes his two Pokemon. Thank goodness, I've t evened up the playing field now. What does he have next? A Crobat, okay. He's probably just gonna be like, oh, toxic, toxic, toxic all day. Well, that's why. It's a good thing I had my Metagross in. Well, <laughs> this sucks. I only, I'm only gonna hit Meganium. As long as Sap. All I just want Sap to do is use Earthquake, because right now I don't have anyone else that knows Earthquake. So I'll keep Sap in there. He might die due to Crobat, but I still want him in there. Yeah. I'll keep Pedaly behind, because I have a feeling he probably has another Pokemon that I should watch out for. Confuse Ray. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> well, good thing he did it on him. I was going to be worried if he did it on Sap, because I want Sap to attack. Sap is probably going to die soon, because Crobat probably has Air Cutter or something like that, so I just got to be careful of that. <coughs> Badly poisoned. Okay, whatever. Earthquake! Summon the strength of... Look at this animation. Just twirls around and... Whoa! It's a cool animation. Never really seen it before. Very nice. Okay, so there goes my net trick. Let's see what la what his last Pokemon is. And it is. Oh, I gotta gain my experience first. That's important. A Mantine. Well, interesting. Good thing I called him back, Meganium. All right, so two flying Pokemon. So I really can't do anything for Sap. I'm just gonna leave him in there and do damage with Mega Horn and stuff. Cause even without it, or you know what? Maybe I should go with uh, Metagross now. See, we can't do much. Megahorn isn't going to do anything. Uh, Brick Break ain't going to do anything. So he, he is going to be useful for that. I guess I'll use Ice Beam on him, and then Psychic should finish it off in one go. Crobat is a pretty good Pokemon, but it can't stand up to a Psychic and an Ice Beam. Or maybe it can. <laughs> Crobat is pretty good defensively. Alright, not bad. That, at least that'll wake me up from the confusion, please. Oh, okay, that's okay. Oh, okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. One Psychic and Ice Beam should do, so it's okay. And Rain Dance, alright. There goes the sun, so that's alright. The only one that's going to be in trouble, and that's why I just w at least want to get off one Psychic before he dies. And that's Metagross. Because obviously that Hydro Pump from a Mantine is going to hurt Metagross a lot, since he doesn't have any special defense, and why are you using that? Okay, I'm... I'm uh, stop that, Crobat! Damn it, he's taking my strategy now. <laughs> Uh, damn it, Ian. He always plays this way. Come on, Metagross! Yes, willpower! Use those X powers of yours! Ha ha! Alright, Ice Beam should definitely take it down now. As long as he hits. Perry? Perry! Ben? Okay, whatever, that's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure. Because they're both confused, I'm just gonna both aim for Crobat, and hopefully one of them hits. Alright, Metagross. Uh oh, he's faster, I forgot. It's probably faster in the rain. He probably has Swift Swim. Because Mantine is not a fast Pokemon. We all know that. And totally didn't do much. Okay, not bad. And. Please? Yes! Stronger willpower. Very good, Metagross. Very good. Ah. Okay, nice. So now all I'm going to do on Mantine is just Ice Beam, Psychic, Ice Beam. <laughs> Keep going with that. Because there's nothing really else I can do. Because Meteor Mash isn't going to do anything. And good! Now you snap out of confusion. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot, Barry. At least late now than never. <laughs> Imagine he stays confused for the whole Pokemon battle, which can never happen, but still, that would be hilarious. Just like, no! It's a 50-50 shot on, on making it every turn. Like, can he do it? No? Oh, oh, man. So close. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, this should... Oh! <laughs> okay, well, this just makes things a whole lot easier. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. And he stepped out of confusion. Isn't this just wonderful? Oh, my God. I thought I was going to have to go to Pebbly and stuff, but nope. Well, this fight turned out a lot better. I mean, considering that slow start I had, and not done much better since then, so I like this. I still have Heracross and Meganium in reserve, so this isn't bad. I only lost the first two Pokemon due out of stupidity for not knowing about Lightning Rods. That's not bad at all. But man, <laughs> well, talk about luck, eh? Like, <laughs> for freeze, freezing a Pokemon doesn't happen very often because one, you don't, um, <laughs> when you, there's no move that can actually freeze a Pokemon. And then, get, having an effect on a move, that only happens like a 10% of the time. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> 
<laughs> these last couple of turns were just very helpful for me in terms of luck. So thank you, luck. You helped me out. Uh, what unbelievable power! I kind of lost my voice there, but whatever. <laughs> I just decided to go with the typical old nerd voice. Er, <laughs> I'm a nerd. All right. See how much money you give me this time? And 18,000. Okay, that's not bad. Considering I lost my first two, that, that's probably why. TMO2, okay, this is the TM I've been waiting for. Thank you. Jeez, it's taking until the fourth round to get this thing. And what do we get? There's a rumor that Deep King has entered the knockout tourney at the Deep Coliseum. Wesley, you've got to enter too and show up, His Highness. Well, you know what? I'm going to totally do that, Nat. <laughs> yes, if you didn't know, that's... All I know is he has a Shadow Shuckle. I do not know his rest, the rest of his team, so we'll find out. But the TM-02 is Dragon Claw, so this is good. <laughs> I finally get this TM for after so long, and we can finally teach it to Perry. Because Perry, yeah, kind of needs a stronger Dragon move. All Dragon moves are special attacks, so I mean, definitely better than Dragon Bass. You can see 60 power to 80 power, so very nice. It's definitely a very powerful move. It's one of the most powerful moves uh, before Draco Meteor and all that was introduced, so it's pretty good. Or was Draco Meteor in Generation 3? I don't even know. Oh, well. But we're good. I think I'll just have Perry. And then... Um, yeah, because now, huh, now that he has Dragon Claw, that's going to help out a lot. Uh, maybe... Let's see whoever's closer. All right, I'll go with Metagross. He deserves some shot after that. He did well, considering those last two Pokemon. I mean, he got lucky with the Ice Beam, but still, he did well in that last fight. So let's go. We're going to keep... Keep, take on the Deep King for the first time. I've never done this before, so I'm excited. Let's do this thing! Once again. Alright, here we are at the final fight. K -k -k -k. You're challenging me? You don't know what you're in for! <laughs> just just seeing that kick kick it, it kinda... It, he doesn't sound like a tough guy. He sounds like a crazy, maniacal weirdo. <laughs> Even though he's a bodybuilder. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Alright. <clears throat> well, there goes Sableye. <laughs> that wasn't much of a problem. <laughs> Sableye is such a weak Pokemon. My goodness. Alright. There goes Dragon Dance. And oh, sorry for this. Jeez. I know why this keeps happening. My bad. <laughs> Damn, slow down. Oh, well, that's okay. Steel wing, eh? Alright. Uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, and there we go. Okay, finally it's back. Good lord, it took long enough. There goes Drink Kingdra, and he's totally gonna take down Altaria. Yep, that's okay. <laughs> Damn it, I apologize for this. My fault. I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> Yeah, this part is post-recorded because uh, this happened, and I really, I didn't see it during the recording, so it's my fault. But, yeah, I don't know, it, sometimes it does this, it's, that's why, you know, Dazzle isn't the best thing in the world, because it does this from time to time, but uh, what can you do, right? It just happened to happen on this part, but that's okay. Main thing is, Kingdra's gonna be finished soon, <laughs> because of Psychic and thing, so that's good. Yeah. And no, oh, he's not done! Okay, that's okay. <laughs> They're both slow, so it's fine. But I got at least thunder coming in here, so that's okay. Alright, looks like the video's back to normal. <clears throat> and... Go! Alright. There goes Kingdra. Finally. Whoa, 1552, that's nice. Damn, wasn't expecting that much, but that's like a shit ninja. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, well. Brick break. That Skarmory's gonna be. Uh, if I can get off one Thunder, then I should be fine. Oh, Nelly. Oh, nuts. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> Damn it, Pearl. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just probably send in Tyranitar and use Rock. Rock slide on both of them because he can at least hit uh, Shedinja. Because Shedinja, obviously, if you didn't know about Shedinja, he 
the only moves that work on him are super effective moves. And the funny thing with Shed Ninja is he has only one HP. So it's kind of weird. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I didn't know Shed Ninja gets hurt by Sandstorm. Oh, that's funny. Oh my god, I really wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> oh my god. That, I, wow. That. <laughs> That's just terrible. Oh my goodness, that was so bad. <laughs> wow, that was just bad. <laughs> That's just so bad. Uh, well, there's a new fact for you. Shedinja gets hurt by weather conditions. Which I didn't know, so that's actually kind of funny. So if you don't have something on your team that act is actually super effective it on it, and it is a ghost and and bug, so if you think about it, it has a shadow weakness, a dark weakness, a rock weakness, a fire weakness, a... Yeah, that's about it. I think I've named every one of them. Oh, a flying weakness, and uh, that's about it. And there's the shadow shuckle I've been looking for, finally. <laughs> I really didn't expect that. I didn't know about that. It's pretty cool. Alright, so Skarmor should be done soon. I can probably just do... Uh, I'll do a Brick Break and a Crunch, because it probably is going to outlive the Brick Break. Skarmor is just damn good defensively, so let's see. And a Brick Break! And it, oh, oops, okay, whatever. Crunch shouldn't do too much to Shuckle. I mean, <laughs> it's... It's got good defenses. I mean, if you didn't know about Shuckle, and now I gotta explain about it. Shuckle is a uh, funny Pokemon. He has no, absolutely no power. No power whatsoever. But he has the best defensive defenses out of anybody in the Pokemon series. So he's a beast, defensively. But power-wise, he has none of it. But what's really cool about Shuckle, and which he, which he gains later on, and I'm gonna try to catch it now, because I don't think it's very hard to catch. What he gains later on is called a move called Power Swap and Defense Swap. And basically what Power Swap is, is it swaps your defense stats with your power stats. So imagine if Shuckle were to swap his power stats with his defense stats. Holy crap, that man could be a powerhouse. But, the only thing is, Shuckle is slow. So I mean, even if you use it, you're most likely going to be dead the next turn. Because then your defenses are frail as hell, and then you're going to be dead. So, and now I'm not going to catch it on the first try? Alright, there goes Shuckle. Very nice. Now, there is one more thing left to do in the game. And again, I haven't done it yet, but I do know about it. I see! You're skilled! Yeah, he still seems to me like maniacal weirdo. But, <laughs> Shuckle, you know, you have to have 47 Shadow Pokemon caught. This is the last one to activate the last part of the game. And now, this is my 47. That's why I caught, uh, recaptured the guys before entering this tournament. So that way, I'd have all of them before I caught Shuckle. So, this is good. Um, you have to have all 47 to activate the next event, so make sure you, you know about that. And for now, I, I'm going to end things off here and meet you guys at the finale. So until next time, this is Mario Central signing off.